What's up you guys? Godzilla Fan Freaks coming at you today with another Godzilla comic review. These are just a random assortment of Godzilla comics I own and this is going to be a pretty quick review. Just kind of going to go over the cover art and kind of like what the story is on each comic. Here we have Godzilla King of the Monsters number one from Dark Horse Comics. Very nice cover art for this one. Uh, Godzilla is bleeding from the mouth. He's not, that's not another monster's blood or anything like that. <coughs> um, in this one, I know, like, G-Force, or, you know, the military has shot Godzilla with some sort of a poison. So, um, I know that's the main story behind this one, and they're just seeing if it'll continue to affect him and hopefully kill him, which it doesn't. And uh, that's pretty much the story about this one. I kind of like this little thing down here in the corner. He's thirsty for blood. So, nice cover up for this one. And now we get into Godzilla King of the Monsters, issue 10. Horror on the High Seas, Godzilla vs. the Spanish Armada. Very nice cover art for this comic. Um, in this uh, comic, uh, Godzilla is traveling in like a wormhole time thing. He's kind of like going back in time somehow. I'm not sure. I don't have all the comics in this particular series, so I really can't tell you how all that starts. But, um, I mean, he's pretty much just back in time during the Spanish Armada and everything, so that's kind of interesting. And a very nice cover art on this one as well. Then we have, this one's probably one of my favorites, just because of the uh, time sequence it um, that goes along with it. This is another one where Godzilla is in, like, trapped in the past. <clears throat> Godzilla King of the Monsters, issue 11, Terror on the Titanic. The Great San Francisco Earthquake, Trapped in Time, Godzilla Runs Wild Throughout History. Very nice comic on this one, and of course this one features the Titanic, and of course we all know of that famous picture on Google Images, you know, of the GMK Godzilla and what really happened to the Titanic. So, um, this is a nice comic to own, I'm glad I have it, and this was issue 11, if I didn't mention that of this series. And then we have this one, which is very interesting. It's Godzilla, King of the Monsters, versus A Terror from Space, uh, from Dark Horse Comics as well, issue 16, and a Battling for the Fate of the Earth. Now, I'm get, now I know this one has a continuation, and um, but this one's interesting. I mean, it starts off as your normal Godzilla comic, but at the end it gives you a twist that Godzilla was sleeping... And in his sleep, he, you know, in his dream that he was having, he fights like this, you know, space monster or whatever it is. And, but when he wakes up, he finds like a piece of it in his hand. So it's kind of like Godzilla's fighting a Freddy Krueger kaiju, almost. So a very interesting comic, this one. And then my last one that I have here is just called Godzilla, but it's also from Dark Horse Comics, and it's issue 3. This one's a much older comic because uh, none of it's colorized on the inside. It's all black and white comic book style. I'm not sure if that's what they were meant to do, and or if they could have did color, or I don't know. But I do. This comic is older than the other ones over here. But uh, this is a nice little interesting comic, and again, you know, um, it's stuck in the middle. You know, not in the middle, but you know, in an ongoing series. And I don't have all the comics, so I can't really tell you what this one's mainly about. But Godzilla is fighting the military and whatnot. But um, those are my random assortment of uh, Godzilla comics. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of little review of them. Um, we are Godzilla fan freaks. That was my random assortment of Godzilla comics. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video review. Thank you for watching.